how to get started in DeFi. Today we are gonna be looking at the SWE blockchain. Its TVL has been up only for the last few months. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to get started. We're gonna look at wallets, we're gonna look at the ecosystem, we're gonna look at resources you can use, and if you have no experience in DeFi, well then, this video is for you. Now this video is in collaboration with the SWE Foundation. I'm here to help make helpful content for SWE, and it is a blockchain I have been investing in for the last few months. Now there's a lot of different things to cover in this video, but none of it is financial advice. It is educational. I'm just gonna show you what's there, how do you use it, and how to find information for yourself so you can be better prepared to make your own financial decisions. Also, there's gonna be some timestamps in the description. It's gonna help you out if you're looking for something specific, but if you know nothing about DeFi or the SWE ecosystem, just stick around, hang out, and let's learn something. I don't know how, I feel like you always have to give three things. So that was two and then a not so great one. Okay, let's get started. Which crypto wallet should you use for SWE? So we're gonna take a look at the SWE wallets, what's available, and we are at SWE.io, hit connect, and under the ecosystem section, we're gonna go into the directory, and then we're gonna filter by wallet. So we're gonna see all the wallets that have been created for the SWE ecosystem. Now this is a public directory that anyone can add to because as you can see in the disclaimer at the bottom, the information presented herein has been provided by third party projects and is made available solely for general informational purposes. So they don't endorse it, but they're saying, hey, these are available if you wanna use these wallets. So we are in the ecosystem directory, we've sorted by wallet. I've used a couple of these and I have my preferences depending on what I wanna do. But you know, some of the all purposes wallets like OKX or MetaMask, they work, but they don't really give you SWE specific tools like dApps, swaps, or ZK login, which we'll get into in a moment. So I personally like the official SWE wallet and the SWE et wallet. I've used some other wallets too because sometimes there's issues and some wallets work better with dApps than others. Like I'm also gonna show you how to troubleshoot those issues later in this video. And there are a few mobile wallets like Splash. I don't have any experience with mobile wallets. I don't really use them because I don't wanna walk around with cryptocurrency. And I think you should really keep all your crypto trading at home. Walking around with all your funds in your wallet is very dangerous. One, because you could get robbed. Two, you might be rushing, you might be panicking to make some type of trade. And when you rush, you are more likely to make a mistake. And that's how people lose money in crypto. So we're gonna focus on Chrome extensions. Now, I highly recommend the SWE official wallet, which you can see in the directory here. We're gonna select it. Then you wanna hit visit website at the top left and it brings you to the Chrome web store and then you can install the SWE wallet. Now with the SWE wallet, you can have multiple accounts in here and I wanna add one. So I already have an existing one. I'm gonna add an account and I can either create a new one or I can sign in with Google or Twitch or set up a connection with a hardware wallet like Ledger. There will likely be more options available in the future like logging in with Facebook or other social media platforms. But for this, I'm gonna sign in with Google and you can create an account that way too. I'm gonna use this account that I am gonna censor. Turn on 2FA to protect your assets. Your Google account now gives access to your SWE wallet to help safeguard your assets. We strongly recommend you enable 2FA. So that's 2FA onto my Google account and that will help protect my own personal wallet. So now I've created a SWE wallet with my Gmail account. It is secured by Google. And if I don't secure my Google account safely, then I could get hacked. That is the risk there. No seed phrases involved. So it's very easy to set up a SWE wallet and the SWE official wallet, the Chrome extension allows you to do that. But not all SWE wallets give you that option. So just be aware of that. Now here in the Chrome web extension, we can fund our wallet, we can buy, send, swap all within here. You can stake and you can see the different decentralized applications that have been listed with the official wallet Chrome extension. 
And what I like about the Suiette wallet is it breaks up the transactions into different tabs, so I don't have to keep scrolling down to see everything, and I can kind of get a sense of like what's going on behind this transaction, and then approve it very easily. So for myself, I just like the interface better for the Suiette wallet. You have a few more options. You can see your NFTs. There's a swapping tab. You can see other popular dApps endorsed by Suiette. And then you can see your activity over time. But those are just my personal preferences. As you can see, there are a lot of different wallets you can choose from. So it's kind of up to you, but I'm pretty happy with the Sui official wallet and Suiette. How to get Sui. So we're going to talk about funding your wallet. And the easiest way to do that is to use a crypto exchange. So we are at CoinMarketCap. We are going to search for Sui. We're going to go into the Markets tab, and we're going to see which crypto exchanges support Sui. If you're in the US, I would sort this by USD. So you can see which US exchanges have Sui available. Or if you are not in the US and have access to other crypto exchanges, I would sort this by USDT. And you will be able to see that uh, Sui is everywhere. Like, every exchange supports it. Funding your wallet works like any other blockchain. You'd have to go to a crypto exchange. You would have to buy Sui, then withdraw that to your personal wallet address. So if we want to find our personal address in the Sui wallet, you can see here under my Gmail account, a 0x address, and then we will just copy that, and then our address has been copied. Or if we're using Suiet, just under our balance here, we would copy this address, and it has zero, and it starts with 0x, whole lot of numbers, and then a, a copy button at the right. We would use that crypto address that we copied and withdraw the Sui purchase from a crypto exchange and withdraw those funds directly to that address. And then with those funds, we'd be able to jump into the Sui DeFi ecosystem. But there's a few other ways to fund your wallet too, and that's with ZK Send. ZK Send allows anyone to send Sui to another person using a link. So this is another way to get started in Sui by getting some free cryptocurrency from them. So if you want some free cryptocurrency from Sui, I'd recommend following some of the founders like Adeni. I think I said that right. And every now and then, he just posts ZK Send links that have Sui in them, and these are gone within seconds. So I highly recommend following him, and if you're active on social media, you got a chance of getting some Sui for free. I also recommend following the official Sui account and me. Me too. Maybe I'll give some away. Maybe I'll have a live stream. We'll do some tutorials if you have some questions. I'll be here for your uh, technical questions and get them answered. So be sure to subscribe, and I'm probably going to do that very soon. But this is a DeFi video, so we don't have to use a CeFi exchange, a centralized exchange. We're going to use the tools we have available in decentralized finance. So if we already have assets available on another blockchain, we can bridge those over to Sui. And to do that, we go to Kriya.finance and we go to the bridge section and we want to connect our wallets. So I've connected my MetaMask account and my Sui wallet. And you can select from several different networks here. And I decided to use Polygon since I have a little bit there. And I can move that over to Sui and get my funds there. So I'm going to move some USDC from Polygon to USDC on the Sui network. And then we want to go into the details. Gas payment, pay with Matic and USDC on Polygon. We want to go here. And that's what I want to go with. I don't want to use any Sui because I might not have Sui to begin with. And you want to make sure native gas is activated and you want to pump that up so you have at least some Sui, half a Sui is plenty, because you need less than 0.1 to make a swap. So if we're going to move USDC from Polygon to Sui, we're going to need a little bit of Sui on the Sui blockchain to make a swap. So that looks good. And then we need to approve and proceed with these transactions. And that's how we bridge assets over from Polygon, Ethereum, Binance, Smart Chain, Avalanche, Phantom, Celo, Moonbeam, and others over to the Sui blockchain. You essentially just use this bridge and make sure native gas is set up so that you get some Sui when those assets arrive, and then you want to swap them. A little more on DeFi for swapping. I use Cetus. You can see that if I want to trade, let's say, Sui for something else, it is going to route my trade through wherever it has the best liquidity, and 
That is going to be through a combination of a SWE USDC trade on CETIS and then a SWE to USDT, then USDT to USDC uh, also on CETIS. So that is one way of swapping and it shows you the rate you're going to get. And if you want to trade that within the Chrome extension, you can do that as well. And that just makes it a lot easier than having to go to another website and you will get similar results. Same thing with the official SWE wallet. You just go to swap and then you can trade your SWE for USDC. But that's kind of it. That's it. <laughs> like the SWE official wallet is limited in the coins that you can swap to. Sweet has more options for your trading, but just a little more. You can't actually input a contract and they have a limited selection. So if you want to trade whatever you want, you have to go to some of the swapping platforms like Cetus or Turbos, and then you can trade for whatever you want there. All right, that was a long buildup, but now you want to jump into the SWE DeFi ecosystem and you want to know where to begin and how things work. Now we're briefly going to go over these things so this video isn't super long, but we're just going to look at what's going on and the TVL. So right now we are in DeFi Llama and we are in the SWE blockchain and you can see that the TVL or total value locked for the ecosystem has been up only. That just means people are moving their money into the SWE blockchain and locking it into some of the protocols that they have there. And that's because these protocols work really well, they're very smooth, and it takes away a lot of the hurdles that you have in traditional DeFi. And I personally had a really great experience using SWE, which is why I'm very bullish on what's going on there, but that's just my own opinion. And if we look at the protocol rankings on DeFi Llama, you can kind of see what's been trending, what has the most TVL, and where are people putting their money. So most of that is going into Scallop, Navi, Cetus, Aftermath Finance, Creadex, Flowex, DeepBook, and so on. Now each of these protocols land in a different category, whether it's lending, DEXs, or liquid staking, derivatives. And each one of those requires a pretty deep explanation, so we're going to save that for another time. So as an example, we're going to look at Scallop Protocol and how it works. Basically, they are in a promotional phase where you get these rewards for lending out your cryptocurrency, and you also get rewards for borrowing cryptocurrency. So you can see that you have to pay 2%, but you are getting rewarded at 6.38% for uh, borrowing USDC in this specific example. And when it comes to lending protocols like this, right now there's just a lot of rewards because they need to kickstart that liquidity. They need people to lend to that platform so other people can borrow, so it can eventually sustain itself in the future. It's gonna scale back those rewards where people actually can borrow cryptocurrency if they need it for a small percentage and then that percentage paid goes to the people that are lending their cryptocurrency onto the platform. Now I know that's all a lot of information that comes very quickly, but we'll go into more detail on that in a future video. So now we wanna look at where your assets are. So let's say you've used all the different protocols here. We wanna find out where are your assets? Where, what are you holding? And can we see everything at a glance? Now, my personal preference is to make a new Chrome profile just so I have the specific extensions for that blockchain. And then I bookmark everything that I'm using so I know where my funds are. That is one way of doing it. And another way is to check the block explorers. So if you look up SWE on CoinMarketCap, we wanna look for network information and chain explorers. That brings up the SWE explorer. And then we can copy our address and then paste it in here. And then you can see that I have a bunch of NFTs and the other tokens I'm holding. But as you can see, the user interface is pretty clean and I really like that about SWE. They actually focus on the details of making something that is very pleasant to read. But there's something better than this site and that's SWE Vision. So I've saved that, I've bookmarked it. So looking into SWE Vision, I've pasted in my wallet address. You can see full value dan.swe, the tokens I'm holding, the tokens that I'm lending on Scallop, my balance, the rewards that are ready, the other protocols like Cetus, I'm adding liquidity there, and the rewards that I have earned. 
And the same thing goes for Navi, Bucket, Turbos, and Sui Staking. So this is one of my favorite websites. Like it is a very clean interface to see where is my liquidity? What am I holding? And do I have any rewards ready for redemption? Because those rewards are just gonna sit there. They're not gonna earn interest. So maybe I wanna claim those and then reinvest them immediately. Troubleshooting. So this is a little more advanced and let's say you are having trouble with transactions and they're failing. That could possibly be to network issues that could be due to the RPC or it could be specific to the wallet you're using. So I've noticed I've had issues with other wallets in the past and I just want the transactions to go through. Overall, I've had 100% success using the Sweet blockchain, but sometimes you have to figure out like what the issue is to get the transaction to work. So for example, I had issues with Cetus recently and found out I had to change my RPC node to get the transactions to work. So my wallet is connected. I go into the settings gear here and then you can see RPC nodes and you can switch that RPC node until the transaction works. And if that still doesn't work, Sometimes you have to switch wallets. I don't know why, but that's the issue with some of the dApps in its early stages on Sui. Now, you could use the exact same seed phrase on multiple wallets. That does expose you to a little more risk, but it does make things a lot more convenient. So if you are willing to take that risk, you could use the exact same seed phrase on every wallet out there like the same seed phrase you'd use on ethereum with metamask you could use that on sui and with the wallets you've created on sui you could use that same seed phrase on other wallets with sui and more on DeFi troubleshooting some dApps might not work depending on your location so if you're located in the us some DeFi applications just won't be available those are available to people located outside the United States, or at least their IP address. I'm not saying to do anything, I'm just saying that's how it works. All right, you made it. This is a long video, but essentially you should get some idea of how to get started in DeFi in the SUI ecosystem, where to go to find protocols, which wallets to use and how to find other wallets, and how to monitor your portfolio. Again, I really love Sui Vision. I wish other blockchains did that. You know, I use DBank for EVM chains. That looks good, but Sui Vision looks a lot better. DBank is still a little limited. DBank can still improve a little bit, but there aren't a lot of services that are improving that Explorer experience. Like you wanna know where your funds are, what you're using them on, and you just want a clean interface to see everything. So I hope this video was helpful, if it is. You know what to do and follow subscribe links are all in the description for everything mentioned in this video so it's easier for you to find and be sure to subscribe for more content and i will be doing a live stream soon answering any questions you may have uh leave them in the comments so i can just say hey i'm going over these questions and we're going to answer them in this live stream and i'll answer more questions there i'm running out of steam this is a long video and until next time. All right, with that, I hope you got your full value for today.